I think the main difference between Kung Fu and other martial arts is that it's ancient. The hand positions are a lot different. They, they mimic animal styles like claws and leopard paws and, and crane beaks and things along those lines. My name is Mike Salito. I'm the chief instructor of Rothrock's Kung Fu and Tai Chi Academy up in Wexford, Pennsylvania. Traditional martial arts are one of those things that always are working on the basic concepts that are good for everybody. Focus and concentration, discipline, respect. With concentration and focus, once a student can do that, then they can learn to be disciplined. But they first have to learn how to focus the mind. And I think that's the best thing that we can offer to parents is helping them get that first step towards concentration so they can learn how to be disciplined, to clean their room every day, um, to learn to be respectful to other adults and, and their teachers in school and to other students. We start everybody off at the very, very beginning. You know, if you're out of shape, not flexible, never done it before, we start at the very, very basic level. It's very welcoming. Uh, it's a great group to, to work out with. I work with Mr. Salito and he does a great job of showing the basics during the workouts so that regardless of level from white belt to black belt, you uh, understand what the workout is and you can progress at your own pace. The most exciting thing for me to watch is when a student has that I, I got it moment, when they finally get something because a lot of the techniques are very complex. So, you know, they start off with a rough outline and then when they train and they practice and then they question and then they come up with these ideas and then you watch this all, you know, transcend from stage from stage to stage and then when they finally sit there and that light bulb goes off in their head and they're like, ah, I finally got it. Then you look at that and you're like, wow, you know, I had a hand in helping them get through those stages. Billy has always been unfocused, so this really helped him to get focused, and not only that, but it increased his confidence. Uh, I consider martial arts as self-improvement. The only competition that we find is the competition with yourself every day. People are self-conscious. So they first come in, we do one-on-one -on -one to get them over that hump of thinking that they can't do it or being self-conscious. For them, I would like them to understand a lot of the benefits of Kung Fu. Kung Fu offers very ancient ideals and techniques and things that have been passed down from teacher to teacher to teacher all the way from ancient China. My name is June Kaho. I've been with Roth Rock, Rock, Rock for four years and I do Tai Chi. I like it because it does help my neuropathy when I'm doing it. Generally people that are being prescribed from doctors to you know, help them get better mobility. A lot of people after hip surgeries or knee surgeries after their physical therapy needs something that they can do um, that's low impact, that's going to help them build strength in very specific areas. I recommend it to everybody because it really is good for all your aches and pains. At the beginning you think you are never going to learn it, never. But then all of a sudden, a year later, I did all 24 forms and couldn't believe it. And it was just all those benefits and how happy people were of their improvement and enjoyment and being able to do things that they couldn't do, you know, when they first started that they could do three or four months later. You know, come in with an open mind. We're here to pass on traditional martial arts to the generation and generations to come.